Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome to Journey of a Roach by Datalik Entertainment. This game is uh, an adventure game, almost like a point and click game, but not quite. Um, yeah, you're a roach in a post-apocalyptic world, uh, having all sorts of adventures. So, with that, let's start a new game. <laughs> yes, there is no dialogue in this game. It's all reactions and thought bubbles. <laughs> we have a title Journey of a Roach. All right, so here we are. Here is our roach. We can move around using the WASD keys or the arrow keys, it doesn't matter. We can climb up walls, we can climb up ceilings, we can walk around on the floor. Which makes this game very interesting in sometimes its controls because you can get very twisted around very easily. Um, there's things you can interact with. There's these worms that you can eat. And... There's things you can look at. So that's him drawing his buddy. And same thing. You can hit the space bar and it kind of zooms out and it shows you interactable objects. So up here you can see that the uh, worm is highlighted with a little arrow. Plus it gives you a nice little overview of the whole scene so you can kind of maybe get a clue of what to do next. All right. And those little worms are for an achievement, if you eat ten of them, I think. And he is relating the tale of him getting squashed by this radiation barrel. So now we have to figure out a way of getting him out. So, let's start looking around this little area. Okay, there's a little lock right here, can't do anything with that yet. <clears throat> Let's see. Also, as this is a 
adventure game. There will be spoilers, obviously. Just push that guy out of the way. But the, yeah, there will be spo spoilers of the puzzles. <laughs> Aww. Aww, that's so sweet. Yes, we have a very sensitive roach. And romantic. Alright, so... But as I was saying, yeah, I'm going to be going through the puzzles and all that, so there will be some spoilers, obviously. And this, my buddy is very accident prone. So as you can see, it's kind of easy to get a little bit uh, upside down. There's a key. We have an inventory system. We have a map. And... To use the inventory, you just simply use the mouse wheel and grab whatever object you want to use and interact with whatever object you want to use. And now my buddy is locked in. Uh, this game is pretty short. It's maybe two or three hours long, so this won't be a very long playthrough or a Let's Play series, but... It'll be an enjoyable one. <clears throat> Ooh, what was that? Keyboard. Oh, I think that's just telling me the space bar. So in this case, we want to walk up this wall, go here to the walkway, and... Hmm. Of course. Alright, here's another little worm. Eat him. Okay, and like I said, we can walk on the ceilings. In this case, I think... Alright, there's a bone, so let's grab that. There's a fish. Stuck in the pipe, and let's see if he'll take the bone. Nope. Let's see if what our buddy says. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I don't really know what they're saying or doing, but... Alright, he's going to drown in the sewer. So, as you can see here, we have this lever and this other little uh, spot that doesn't have a lever, lever in it. So let's see if the bone will work. Sure enough. Pull the bone. That didn't sound quite right, but... <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so, and that stopped the flow of the sewer. Uh-oh. This is trouble. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Okay, looks like they're both all right. So far, anyway. Hopefully the spider won't come back anytime soon. So we just click these webs, and that will set us free there. Pull us apart. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what we can do in this room. There's a... Looks like a roll of tape. And... A broomstick. And that's it. So, you can combine things in this game. Let's see if the tape will work with the broomstick. Yep. And can we use that to get him out? No. Well, let's see. 
No. I think we're missing something else. So, let's see what's up here on the ceiling. Ah, there's a plunger. Okay. Let's combine all of these things together and make a plunger extension. <laughs> You're all right. Oh no! Blue eyes, no! Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, he has a cockroach, and they're pretty much indestructible. I'm not going to worry too much about him. All right, looks like the only way is through this uh, ventilation shaft. Oh. I don't know if that's her kids or a snack. Alright, so as you can tell based on the little cutscene there that we have to gather up all of our little flies here and put them back into these little baskets here. So we will do that in the next video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Please feel free to give it a comment, a like, and subscribe. I'd appreciate all those things. And I will see you in the next video. Until then.